Well, to sum up 2018, it seemed to come in like a lion and out like a coffin. Try not to be, of course, morbid, but we are wrapping up the 2018 year. And on this channel, I thought fittingly enough, and actually ironically enough, what arrived at my post office near the end of the year, we're actually only a couple of days away at the time that I'm shooting this, the new coffin box arrived from the folks over at Horror Pack. So that's why I said at the beginning of this review, in like a lion, out like a coffin. Isn't that splendid? If you guys are interested in subscribing to the Rue Morgue coffin box, which let me just break down the kind of stuff that you're gonna be getting inside. Of course, you will still get your issue of Rue Morgue, which is something I look forward to getting every single month that this gets circulated. And as well, in some cases, you get yourself an exclusive Blu-ray or DVD. Instances in the past uh, that we got ourselves the Kane Hodder uh, biography that was a really interesting surprise i wasn't expecting that and i can't wait to see what's going to be inside the room or coffin box the final coffin box for 2018. i know somebody's anxiously just saying just open it open it open it okay we're gonna open it um it doesn't require any sort of cutting i really don't need a knife for this and funny enough i'll probably end up using a knife for something anyways but uh, the seal is not there because it was inside a bag Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this and inside, it seems like we've got ourselves a t-shirt. It seems also we got ourselves a Blu-ray and the Blu-ray is Ron Perlman's Five Girls. Five Girls versus 2,000 Demons. It's a horror pack, uh, I don't know if it's a horror pack exclusive, but it says horror pack presents down below. Uh, the read up says, what the devil has gotten into these girls, we're about to find out as they attend St. Mark's boarding school where discipline is strictly enforced. Students are strip searched, routinely punished, and there's no communication with the outside, but plenty with the dark side. Classrooms are more like covens and extracurricular activities. When the lights go out, you never know what is going to happen. Every girl here has a criminal past and a terrifying and anything but predictable future. Father Drake and the particularly attractive and sadistic headmistress, Miss Pierce. Let me just stop actually by just saying it. It's interesting that they had to stop and put in the particularly attractive I guess that was a I guess that was on her resume well tell me a little bit about yourself well I'm particularly attractive all right done that's all we need and sadistic headmistress Miss Pierce are in charge the girls are scared to death of them as well as they should be because frankly they've let the whole school go to hell I'm sure that's that specific wording has some play into uh, what's gonna happen in the movie it does also feature commentary with director Warren P. Sonoda and still behind the scenes. So there you go. It was released, by the way, let me just have a look here, 2018, with a running time of 96 minutes. I find that particular, particularly, particularly, particularly attractive. That movie, I'm going to check that out. Also included inside, oh, I almost went like this with the shirt, almost knocking out the little shot glass inside. It says, Halloween is my Christmas. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, among the other Christmas classics that I watch regularly at the December season, I also watch a lot of Christmas horror films. So even though we pass through October, get through November, we get through December, and as we're leading up to Christmas time, I still managed to squeeze some horror films in there as well. Delightful. I actually just watched, uh, well, it's after the fact, but I watched Christmas Evil, Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 and 2, and what was the other film I watched? I think that was it. I was going to watch the remake of, of Black Christmas, which I know is blasphemy, but I always seem to get a hoot out of watching the remake of Black Christmas. We also got inside the sh the uh, the Rue Morgue a coffin box. We also got ourselves an extra large Jaws T-shirt. 
That is a nice looking t-shirt and an equally one of my favorite posters, movie posters. I don't have Jaws the movie poster, but I have the closest next best thing. I have the McFarlane Toys 3D Jaws poster print, which I've actually done a review of on this channel, I think more than once, several times, I, I'm certain. And then of course, to wrap up the coffin box, we've got our issue of Rue Morgue. It's now the 21st year, if you can believe it, that Rue Morgue has been running. The title shows Suspiria, a masterpiece reborn, featuring uh, Luca Guaga Guadagino. <laughs> Why do I even bother? And Jessica Harper. Oh boy. Jason Goes to Hell turns 25. I had absolutely no idea. And also Call of the Cthulhu. Lovecraft goes digital. Well, let's have a look through here. Let's have a gander. Some advertisements on the sides for some upcoming Blu-ray releases. Dracula AD 17, 1972. And the Satanic Rites of Dracula. Uh, on the other side, an advertisement for the new Leprechaun Returns, which I still have not yet seen. If you guys have checked that out, let me know what you think of it. And let's flip through it. Some tattoos. Oh, we got a section there. Oh, right there. There's a, a snapshot from Silent Night, Deadly Night 1. Or I guess you could say Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 because they use a lot of the footage anyways. Some needful things that you can pick up for yourself. That looks like a Rubik's Cube of the uh, configuration... Lament Configuration or the Hellraiser Puzzle Box. What else do we have here? Universal Pictures Monster Wallets. What? I'm going to have to like... I don't want to say mark the page, but I'm going to have to remember that that's there. I want to check out a little bit more of that. Uh, we've also got Broken Mirrors, Broken Minds. After years of rumor and mystery, Suspiria's Luca, or Lucia, I think it's Luca, talks dance, Dario, and the ghosts of German history. See what else we have in here. A whole section on Suspiria. What else do we have in here? Oh, the section on Catching Hell. Directed by 23-year-old Adam Marcus, Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday, has been reviled by many fans of the Friday 13th canon, and yet 25 years later, the film has aged unusually well for a host of very forward-thinking reasons. I happen to like Jason Goes to Hell. Is it my favorite Jason? Absolutely not. But I would say there's something about it. There's something alluring to Jason Goes to Hell that I just always enjoy watching the film. It's just so different and it's so far removed from the rest of the Friday the 13th canon that uh, there's just something more enjoyable I find about it by just popping in from time to time. We've got a section on uh, cinema, cinema cobra, cinema cob, oof, film and DVD reissues. Was this the night he remained home? Clockwork Mansion, Rotters from the Reich, and Teen Toil and Trouble. And I guess that's just the overword there of the new Halloween. This is the Laplace's Demon, Overlord, and Sabrina. Let's see what else we have in here. I mean, I certainly don't. I'm skimming through this because the very last thing I would want to do is be showing you everything that's in this magazine, which I'm, I'm essentially doing here. There's a section for Homicidal Homemaker. And, oh, I happen to have that t-shirt, which I wore on Christmas Eve. The Silent Night, Deadly Night t-shirt from over at Fright Rags. I guess, ultimately, I just did kind of flip through the entire magazine. I'm sorry for anybody that probably was waiting to read through that themselves. But let's have a look at all the things that we got inside the coffin box for December. Whilst we talk a little bit about that... Did you say whilst? I did say whilst. Whilst we talk a little bit about that, I'll put the box right there for, of course, product product showcase. Um, we put the issue magazine right there. First things first, we got ourselves the Halloween is my Christmas shot glass. I'm going to definitely put that with my collection of shot glasses, which if you can believe it, that is true. I have a collection of shot glasses. Got ourselves the Jaws t-shirt. I'm going to be putting that on. A rather interesting movie, Peculi particularly, what was the word there? Particularly, why am I having such a tough time with that word? 
You ever get tongue-tied saying a word that is so obviously easy to say and yet you struggle saying it? And then somebody in the background is just yelling, particularly, is that the word you were thinking of? Tongue-tying happens to the best of us. But we're gonna, I'm gonna be checking out the five girls. Five girls versus 2,000 demons. And then last but certainly not least, we sort of did a substantial look through the new issue of Rue Morgue, which happens to be issue 185 for November to December 2018. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the very well product placed coffin box right there, if you want to subscribe to the coffin box, I'll put the link down below. Today we were having a look at the new Rue Morgue Horror Pack, exclusive from Horror Pack, the coffin box for December, which also so happens to mark the final coffin box for 2018. Stay tuned for 2019. It's uh, right around the corner. By the way, also, as we just sort of wrap things up here, I'm not really sure whereabouts I'm going to put this video in the list, the various lists of videos that I usually frequently put up on this channel. But say this happens to be the last video before the New Year's. I want to wish everybody a happy New Year. I hope everybody has had a somewhat successful, somewhat prom promising, somewhat prosperous 2018. And I hope 2019 is even better for everybody out there. Thank you for your ongoing support to this channel. Thank you for regularly commenting down below. Commenting is always the best way that I know that you guys are really digging the content that I'm putting out. So whenever I read new comments from you guys, it just goes to show that you guys are taking the time and watching my videos. So a big, big thank you for that. And here's to 2019, which could ultimately be right now, depending on when I put this video up. I'll try to put this one up just before New Year's Eve. Now I've put a lot of pressure on my shoulders. I'm always putting pressure on my shoulders. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.